Hey, troops of Riffin Geeks Adventures. Woohoo! Broadcasting from Clintonville. Got another toy review. You know how um, San Diego Comic Con is basically Christmas for geeks um, because so many announcements, so much cool comic stuff, and lately, toy exclusives. Yeah. Um, and if you recall, this is like a year, 18 months ago, um, NECA had announced a set of DC and Dark Horse properties um, versus figures. Because for a little while, they were doing a line. They were doing um, comic books with D Dark Horse and DC were doing comic books. Where they would have one character facing off against another. The most famous one was Batman versus Predator. Which, at the time, the comic book, me personally, thought was a bad idea. Um, and then I read the story and went, wonderful comic book, huh? I should do a broadcast about that, huh? But anyway, the um the seminal <laughs> comic book story, of course, led to geeks like me going, toys, toys, toys. Sort of kind of good news is Neko went, yes, we're going to make an exclusive line of figures, you know, limited one. Bad news is because we're in property owned by DC Warner Brothers, another owned by all sorts of other people that have to work with Dark Horse. Things happen. So haggle, haggle, scream, yell, blah, and of course, you know, wondering. I guess the mo the worst part was they put up pro they released prototypes, like painted and everything. Was it last year, uh, 2018, I believe, 2018. They were floating around and they looked beautiful. There was um there was the Batman versus Predator, the armored Batman versus Predator. There was also a um, Superman versus Alien figure, another two pack that was put out. They look beautiful, and of course, you know, we're all salivating. Going, come on, come on, please! And then, of course, news progressed further and further, and you kept hearing from NECA the, oh, uh, oh, uh, and it's like, oh, no, this is going to turn into one of those things. And then whispers started to come out of, well, we might be able to do an exclusive. So, guess what? San Diego Comic Con exclusive of the Armored Batman and Predator figure. Yeah, baby! Um, how limited were the numbers? I I don't know. Um, I haven't heard anything official. Limited enough that, um, like a lot of these exclusives, if you went to the NECA website during certain weird times, you could try and pre-order one. If you couldn't get to the con. <laughs> um, I think I've heard literally like you know from checking on um, YouTube and stuff folks going yeah in five minutes I kept any refresh refresh and poof it was gone um, so we're now stuck with getting on a secondary market <laughs> um, and from what I've heard also from folks on YouTube and other action figure fans and stuff people were sucking these up like which isn't a surprise. The figure, uh, kidding aside, I mean, go to YouTube right now, you know, and do a search for Batman versus Predator NECA figures. They were beautiful. Um, the prototypes they showed were wonderful. Lots of detail. You know, all the hallmarks of a NECA figure. Add on to the fact that it's a convention exclusive, etc., etc., etc. So, of course, you know, the, 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 the feeding frenzy started. So, um, what's the end result? Um, overall... Pretty dang good. Um, not perfect. Um, unfortunately, at least for me, I love NECA's line um, for Pacific Rim. Um, I have a I have a Destroya Godzilla burning Godzilla figure, all beautifully done. Blah 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 blah. All kind of have issues in one form or another. Um, the good news is with this line, the issues were not like really huge and you know hair pulling, but. They're there. Um, so anyway, uh, let's get on with this. All right, so let me show you what this looks like. <laughs> this is the box you get. Yeah, it's a plain box. Um, I don't want to know how much these things would have cost if you actually got like a really fancy ooh, box. Um, okay, you're wondering right now, uh -oh, so how much is this thing? Uh, if memory serves, the retail on the site as well at the con was like 60, which actually... These are premium high-end figures, and the NECA figures, like for Godzilla, um, for the unlimited ones, are like 25 bucks. So, you know, you're looking at basically 30 bucks each. So, retail, eh, not bad. Um, but, like I said, secondary market. Um, you can go to eBay and figure that out very quickly. Or if you're a collector anyway, you're going, oh, 
Um, gorgeous, big. What's the big deal about the box? The giant window. Huge. Batman on one side, Predator on the other. Tons of spots for accessories. Which there is a plethora of. Well, at least, at least, well, yeah, in some ways for both of them. Um, I mean, you can see the alternate head. For those familiar with the story, you've got the um, the tranquilizer gun. There's also the extra hand for Batman in his armored form to hold the gun. Yes, there's a bat. And for those who read the story, you're going, well, duh, he's got to have the bat. Um, so, hey, read the dang story. Um, and for Predator, of course, you have a multitude of extra hands. The flying disc weapon thing. Um, things get kind of quirky, and I should sign of how kind of quirky this figure, these figures get, but we'll get into that in a minute. Now you're wondering, so what the heck you getting? <laughs> Batman? Predator. Okay, it's not quite as cool as, 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 I'm sorry, my WWE cred just ain't what it used to be. Um, okay, so we'll go old school. It's not quite Ric Flair versus Dusty Rhodes. Wow, I really went old school, didn't I? <laughs> You get the idea. Um, like all NECA figures, the sculpting, I mean, look at these things. They're beautiful. Um, the Predator figure, I mean, we, you know, we, they, they've done umpteenth number of these. Um, and like the other figures, um, beautifully done. I mean, you know, lots of detail. you got the skulls here. You have, of course, two heads. You've got the helmeted head, and you saw in the box, you got the, um, you got the unhelmeted head with the ugly face from 80s. Um, the cannon is removable. Um, the cannon can move up and down. There appears to be a swivel that I'm not going to mess with. We'll talk about that later. Uh, multiple points of articulation. You do get the spear, of course. Um, oh, how detailed is this figure? Remember, Predator. He's got the little self-destruct thing, right? Pops open. <laughs> Isn't that cool? It's beautiful. Uh, I mean, look at this thing. Articulation overall is solid. Um, you know, you don't, unfortunately, you don't, what do you get double? Yeah, you do get double knee joints, um, which is cool. For some reason, unfortunately, you don't get an ankle rocker as much, um, which is really kind of surprising. Um, I do wish there was a little more, um, you know, you get double elbows. This should be removable. I don't know why it's not, but we'll get into that kind of thing in a second. Um, you know, overall, it's wonderful. Um, you get, of course, the spear from the series. And the nice thing is is that the spear has, you can remove it so you can slip it into the hand easily. And if you are so inclined, I think, I'm not too sure if it fits into the um, open-fisted hand for Batman, but anyway. Um, this is the Batman figure. Set the classic look from the comic. Not exactly comic accurate because i believe if memory serves from the comic the boots weren't quite this detailed nor were the gauntlets but i mean in general though this is the armor um the belt the the sonar thing um the cape okay bad news it's cloth good news it's not cheap stupid vinyl i hate that junk it's heavy cloth and drapes now the bad news is that it does feel kind of weird so it does feel like it could tear Cape though it's huge. I mean, look at this. This is ridiculous. So what you can do is you can do stuff like this. See? Isn't that awesome? <laughs> I mean, uh, th that's the beauty of that cape is that it will drape and it will come on completely. You know, you can do all the cool Batman animated series looks you always wanted to do. Um, the articulation overall is solid. Um, you got double jointed knees, double jointed elbows. Like NECA figures, there's a quirkiness with how tight these things are. So you can do the little, I guess you can do the hair, the hair dryer trick to loosen them up. Um, a nice thing, a mixed bag thing, the thigh armor and the chest armor are removable. So hypothetically, you know, he looks like, you know, he can look like the Batman figure. The weird thing is that you would think there'd be the giant bat symbol on the plane, and there's no bat symbol, um, which is really kind of odd. You'd think if you went through all that to make this removable, why not have the bat symbol? Why not have a removable head for, you know, a plain Batman look? Um, and actually, 
that's where things get kind of quirky with this figure. Um, number one, these things, th this is removable. It's not removable anymore. Why? This is so removable it kept falling off. Um, so, <laughs> yep, for those of you who are diehard, like your figures in mint condition, I glued them on. Yeah, you heard me. I glued them on. Crazy glue. Same thing with the visor thingy. Technically, this is removable. My dang figure! I'll do what I want with it. Yeah. And besides, I wanted the armored Batman figure. That was the main thing. And it is glorious. All, all kidding aside, uh, it is beautifully done. Um, and if you want to talk about quirks, like I said, this blade's not removable. Oh, ah, I didn't realize that. Actually, that goes into another quirk. It retracts! Oh, how cool is that? Now, you're wondering, you're kind of wondering, what do I mean by another quirk? When you get high-end figures from Japan, what they tend to do is they pack instructions with it, which sounds stupid. It's an action figure. How hard can it be? I didn't know about this. Wow, that really does extend. That's kind of cool. Um, Japanese figures would have had instructions that would have gone into detail about all your accessories, how they work, where the joints are, so you don't end up going, hey, doesn't that double knee joint? And breaking it. Um... A figure of this high of quality with this much junk on it, you really should put instructions on it. Um, because it's not just a little, you know, it's not just a, a $10 Star Wars toy where you can look at it and figure out what the heck it's doing. It's not. There's a bajillion pieces of detail. All of this stuff. It's a lot of stuff to pack in. You don't figure it out by just putzing with it because if you putz too hard, these things break. I don't think you want to break a figure like this from a secondary market. Um, so yeah, what's my call? Um, these figures are beautifully done. Um, I honestly was kind of hesitant getting these because, I mean, you know, secondary market, it's no joke how much you spend on this thing. <laughs> so you know, part of me was worried about buyer's remorse. I have picked up other figures like this. They tend to sit on my shelf. Why? Because they look real pretty. And then all of a sudden that moment of, you know, yeah, I'll say it. You want to do the fight. I'm the bat. I'm Batman. You don't want to do that because you're afraid something's going to break, to be quite frank. All these accessories, all these joints, so much stuff. Um, and that's a problem why I really don't get into Japanese figures like the, um, like the, like the Kai, the, the, the Play Arts Kai figures. Yeah, they look really pretty, but number one, they cost about two, you know, hundred bucks and over for one figure. Number two, you got so much extra junk that you know you don't want to lose track. Of it. Number three, you know, you start bending it, and all of a sudden, is it supposed to bend that? Psh! Oh, it's not supposed to bend that way. <laughs> Oops. Um, not that you want to throw this thing around like a Marvel Legends figure, but overall, it's got a nice heft to it. It feels good. You're obviously, because of price point, you're not giving this to your five-year-old nephew or niece. Um, however, you know, as a toy collector, you have no qualms. You will have no qualms about going, it's going to be okay. Um, if you're a fan of the, uh, honestly, if you're a fan of figures, if you're a fan of, in particular, the Batman Predator miniseries, you do really want to get this, um, especially for the Batman. It's beautifully done. Um, they captured, it, like I said, it's not comic book exact, but it is a beautiful representation of what was in the comic book. Um, you know, overall, the posability is there, so <laughs> feel free to either, you know, have it on display or recreate a whole lot of battles on your coffee table, whichever the case may be. Um, the nice thing about the box, okay, it's a little plain, but the good news is because of its window, you know, the giant window it's in, you can still use this for display as well, and that's still going to look pretty good. Um, so yeah, I'm very glad I snagged one. Um, it may not be everyone's cup of tea, um, but this is a really nice piece of work. Um, I am the knight. <laughs> I don't know what Shane Black was thinking in his The Predator movie. <laughs> Sorry, that was a cheap shot. And actually, The Predator movie was kind of fun. Um, but anyway, I'm going to go. So, yeah. Um, like I said, though, this is on the secondary market. So... <laughs>
your call how far you want to go on this in some ways considering scarcity and yada 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 i'm kind of glad i jumped on the gun really really soon but hey uh, your call anyway um so yeah there we go uh, may the force be with you may the odds be in your favor and as always <laughs> may the odds be in your favor especially if you're trying to find these <laughs> for a reasonable price um and be good to each other take care of you. peace bye